Hello everyone, this is Jarena here, Follow of the Way. And today I want to talk just a little bit about uh, the, you know, the whole thing in Israel, you know, with the Israel-Hamas war, 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 war that's going on. And uh, all the, uh, you know, you've heard about, I'm sure most of you have heard about the tragedies over there and just all the, it's just horrific, right? And I've heard people say, um, you know, you know, people get all type of speculations from it, like, is this the end of the world? Is there going to be a World War III? Um, and I've heard people say things like, um, this is what they get over there, uh, referring to Israel, because Israel does not acknowledge Jesus Christ and all that. And so I've heard people say stuff like that, which I think is horrible still, because here's the thing. Those of us that are believers, if you can recall, when you were out in the world blind in sin, um, and you were doing foolish things, right? And uh, aren't you grateful that the Lord had mercy on you, you see, to bring you to an to, to see him, to open up your eyes to see him? Uh, so, you know, any bad things that happened to you when you were out in the world, I don't think you want to resolve and say, oh, see, that's what you get, per se, right? Even if there was things you did that the result of that sin, you, you got the consequences of that, uh, but you still would rather have mercy and grace, right? So, you know, we should continue to pray for the people involved in all of that, that they will come to Christ. We all need to come to Christ. It's the same answer. The answer for them over there is Christ, okay? The problem for them over there, just like our problem over here, is sin, is fallenness, is blindness, is all of that. That's the problem, okay, at the end of the day. So we need Christ. We all need Christ. They need Christ as well. So I think we can just continue to pray for them. And then, you know, all of this kind of like getting worked up about it to the point where it's like, well, what's really happening? What's going to happen and all that? Well, we all know, well, not we all know, but those of us that are believers, we're familiar with um, the book of Matthew chapter 24. Now, remember, even the disciples was asking the Lord, you know, when will all this just be over with or when, when would the end time come? So look at what, what uh, the Lord says here. Matthew chapter 24, starting with uh, verse 3. Um, As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him, talking about Jesus, came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put your put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away, and be and be and betray one another, and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. You see that? Do you see what he's saying? So he's named off several things that's actually we're in the midst of. How the love of many will grow cold, you know. Uh, nation rising against nation. You see that? All of that's happening. You know, earthquakes and, you know, rumors of, you know, wars, all that business, right? But he's saying to endure, endure to the end. He's even saying that believers, you know, will, will be persecuted. All of that, this is happening in places, but we are to endure unto the end. That, that's, that's, that's our position. Uh, so then, so listen, and then there, there's a place too where Jesus says that, um, even he doesn't know the day of his coming. You know, the Lord has uh, did this to where he has somehow, and I'm telling you, it's a mystery that he has. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but hidden that day from him, him own self, right? Only God, the Father, knows that that time. So I think that we should be busy about living for our Lord. That, that's what we should be doing, right? We should be proclaiming Christ. We should be doing the same thing that we are doing, and that is 
living for Christ, proclaiming Christ, praying for the lost, telling people about Christ, that they would come to Christ, because the answer is Christ. The problem is sin. The problem is fallenness. The problem is lawlessness. But the answer is Christ. The only answer for everybody, even those in Israel, all of that. Okay? The Hamas people, all those people. Christ is the answer. And I understand that there's people that have rejected Christ, right? And I say Christ is the only answer. Okay? And, and it is what it is. So I just wanted to stop and say that real quick. I keep hearing about you know, that over there. And I don't know all the details. I have not done all the research about what's going over there with Israel and Hamas and all that business. I have not. But the answer is Christ. That's it. You know, that's the answer. All we can do is hope in what the Lord can, in the Lord's salvation for them. All right, guys. So that's the answer. We understand that there's some history behind the, the story with them over there. I understand that. I know there's a, you know, we, we have the history of the, uh, there was constantly a war between, you know, the story about um, Isaac and Ishmael and all that. I know, I know. There's, there's that story, all right? There's that long history of this battle. And the answer is Christ. And it's very sad what's going on over there, but we need to just continue to pray. And we need to continue to proclaim the gospel. That's 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 what we need to be doing. All right, guys. Okay, just wanted to stop and talk about that. That was really it. All right, you know what I always say. Uh, oh, one more thing. So if you like this video, if this is encouraging, all that good stuff, like the video. Be great if you subscribe and leave a comment and all that. That'd be awesome. And I always say this, that we must continue. And there's only one way to continue. There is only one that we can continue in. And that is Christ in him, in Christ alone. All right, guys. So do that and be blessed.